We know NOCO. From Town Square Media, this is Tuned Into NOCO. I'm Ashley Milas. Hi, guys. Welcome back into Tuned Into NOCO. I'm Ashley Milas. Next up on our show, we have the chair of the Backstage Rialto board, Jim Doherty. Jim, thank you so much for being here. For our listeners, what is Backstage Rialto? Yeah, um, Backstage Rialto is a nonprofit organization, and we are charged with um, raising money to improve, you know, technical equipment in the Rialto Theater, as well as enhance programming. Oh, that's awesome. Now, you guys will be hosting the second annual whiskey tasting on March 10th. Tell us about this event. What are you guys doing? That's right. Um, last year, our first year of the whiskey tasting was our best fundraising event to date. Um, really, what it entails is having. Um, a group of about 80 people in the Devereaux room, which is a little event space uh, adjacent to the Rialto Theater. Um, so it's a whiskey tasting, and it's it takes place right before the annual roughly St. Patrick's Day event. Um, we have Irish music playing at the Rialto every St. Patrick's Day, maybe a week before. And this year it's a band called Alton. And um, yeah, straight from Ireland. It's going to be a fun time with the whiskey tasting before that. Yeah, that sounds like a blast. Now, this is your second annual, so you guys have done this before. We did. Yep. Yeah, we did it last year, and it was our most successful fundraising event today. Yeah. Now, you guys have used this to help fund projects, including a video wall at the Rialto, which I have seen. It's really cool. And also the Backstage Rialto Children's Theater. Are you guys going to put this fundraiser towards those projects again or towards something else? Well, the video wall is already paid for. So that was one of our bigger improvements that we uh, bought for the theater. Uh, we also bought some streaming equipment, which was crucial during the pandemic. So the Rialto could still do some revenue generating programs. Oh, yeah. uh, so we bought that streaming equipment. But our real focus right now is children's theater. Um, in the years past, the Rialto has brought in the Missoula. Uh, it's like a summer camp uh, for children's theater. Uh, kids sign up for it, pay a registration fee. They get to learn about putting together a program and actually perform it at the end of it. Oh, cool. We're doing it again this year, but we're also enhancing that with our own Backstage Rialto Children's Theater. Oh, that's great. So are you guys accepting applications yet to join this children's theater? We will be. We, we haven't posted it yet, but that's coming up, yes. Yeah, we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. For those listening, this is another great reason to head to the Rialto Theater on March 10th for their whiskey tasting event. The funds are going to some great causes. Now, Jim, why else do you think it's important for our community to get out to this whiskey tasting event? Um, I think, first of all, Finally, we're able to get together in groups again. Um, so I think that's why it was so successful last year. And ticket sales have been robust. There still are some left this year. But um, I think the biggest thing is people just love getting out and about again. Um, and the whiskey tasting we're doing, they're going to be all, you know, I wouldn't say super high end, but high end whiskeys. And people are just really into that. Yeah. And I need to throw a plug out to Wilbur's um, uh, liquor store up in Fort Collins. They're the sponsor of this event. Oh, and awesome. we'll be providing the whiskey expert. That's great. If someone is interested in attending, how can they get tickets? Uh, go online, backstagerialto.com, uh, or the Rialto Theater uh, will have a link there for tickets, both to the concert, and then there's a separate link for the whiskey tasting. So we're not combining the two. So if you just want to go to one or the other, you can do that. But if you want to go to both, you would just buy tickets um, for both events. Perfect. And again, you said this was happening right next to the Rialto Theater? Yeah, it's um, it's called the Devereaux Room. So okay. it's adjacent to it. So for people familiar with Loveland, it's the event space right above door 222, the restaurant. And okay. um, people that are in the Devereaux Room will have access to the Rialto Theater as a door. It's just uh, right adjacent to it. Well, for our listeners, definitely head to the Rialto Theater on March 10th. They are going to be holding a fundraiser. It will be a whiskey tasting event with a concert as well. This fundraiser will include five generous samples of whiskey. The cost is $40 per person for a single ticket or $75 for a couple. You can visit BackstageRialto.com for more information or how to snag your tickets. Also check out their Facebook and Instagram pages at handle Backstage Rialto Loveland. Jim, it sounds like such a great time. Do you guys have any other events coming up? Um, let's see. Every year we, well, I should say starting last year, uh, last summer, uh, the concerts at the Foot Lagoon in Loveland, it's, yeah. those are actually produced by the Rialto Theater. Really? Um, yeah, and we are the beer vendors there. So all proceeds uh, from beer sales will go into 
backstage Rialto's coffers to, again, help promote things at the Rialto. Wow, that's awesome. Do you guys have a lineup for the shows? I don't know if they've been determined yet. I know some contracts are out to some performers, but I'm not sure what the full lineup is. Yeah, Way cool. So what other shows have you guys been doing at the Rialto this year? What other shows? Um, We just did a whole bunch of like classic rock, Tom Petty, Stevie Nicks uh, concerts. Um, I think there was a Beatles one just recently. Jim Croce's son came through and and played. So I'm talking about what's happened in the past and what's coming up right now. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Rialto Theater. And last year you guys were showing an old Christmas movie, White Christmas. I really wanted to go. What other annual things do you guys do? The other annual thing that we do every year uh, revolves around Halloween. Yeah. And we have, um, we call it the Festival of Frights. And every year we show the movie The Blob. Really? And there's a connection to that because... I grew up in Loveland, and I'm old enough to have attended that theater when it was still an old movie theater, and it was in pretty bad disrepair, Um, and there was a, up on the ceiling, there was a ceiling patch, so they obviously had a leak somewhere in the theater, and they put a ceiling patch up, looked like a half a two, half a sheet of plywood, it was glued (laughs) to the ceiling, and from the edge of that, you know, piece of that patch, uh, was a drip of tar, in my mind's eye, I'm remembering six to eight <laughs> feet long that threatened to fall on everyone below. So literally, <laughs> there was a radius of chairs that didn't get sat in as much because people were afraid this thing was going to drip on them. <laughs> and it was affectionately blob. called the blob. <laughs> yeah. And then when I joined Backstage Rialto on the board, um, we decided to have fun with that you know, little history of the theater. Yeah. So we show the blob around Halloween time. And the week leading up to the blob, we do ghost tours in in the Rialto. That's another really fun um, way to get people into the theater, see the nooks and crannies down below and and raise some money. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of raising money, if somebody can't make the whiskey tasting event, can they still donate to you guys? They can. There's a donate tab on our website. Perfect. You guys heard that. If you would like to donate, head to BackstageRialto.com. You also can get all the information on there about their upcoming whiskey tasting event on March 10th and how you can snag some tickets. Now, Jim, let's pivot here. What's your story? How did you get involved with Backstage Rialto? Well, um, about five years ago, I took on a new job at Desk Chair Workspace, downtown Loveland. Uh, It's a co-working space, a super high-end co-working space down there. And um, what's cool about that is I I grew up in Loveland. I moved here from New York when I was nine years old, went through all the the schools in Loveland, Loveland High School. And um, as I mentioned before, I was, I'm old enough to have attended um, movies at the Rialto before it went through its recent renovation. Um, And I remember seeing Star Wars, the original Star Wars, 1977 at the Rialto. So when I got the job at Desk Chair Workspace, which is essentially right across the street from the Rialto, uh, someone I know was, um, their time was up on the Rialto board and they approached me about uh, joining and really couldn't exist with all the fond memories I have of the theater and my connections. I know a ton of people in town. Um, It was just a natural fit. So that's how I got involved. Why do you think it's important to keep older theaters like the Rialto going? Oh, just... um, First of all, the architectural beauty of them. Um, some of the things they, when they renovated the Rialto, they they found quite a few what they call um, Easter egg surprises. You know, they really? would take drywall off a certain wall, and there was like the original mural um, from the original theater that wow. they were able to use as the model to to do more murals throughout the theater. And uh, probably the coolest one is at the very front of the building. They Again, took off a wall, and there was this beautiful lead-stained glass that said Rialto. That's visible today, but prior was uh, hidden. It it was hidden until they did the renovation, yeah. Now, I know with older movie theaters, and Rialto Theater's been around a while. They used to play, you know, silent movies, and then you'd have an actual pianist playing. That's right. Do they still have any pieces or artifacts from back in the day? Well, there's an orchestra pit uh, right at the front of the stage. It's still there. I don't know. I don't think it gets used with actual orchestra, yeah. you know, people <laughs> in there. But uh, the pit's there, sure yeah. enough. And if you come by and do the ghost tour next Halloween time, uh, you'll get to walk right in that pit and in the basement and everything of the theater. Jim, before I let you go, is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know about the whiskey tasting event or anything else you may have coming up? 
Um, the biggest thing, you know, everyone's, you know, what they're drawn to varies. And we do everything from uh, like classic rock shows to opera to, you know, specific movies and that kind of thing. Best thing to do is just, you know, get on uh, the Rialto's Facebook page, like it, and you'll get notifications of what's coming up. And that way you can stay on top of what grabs you. Perfect. Thank you. Well, you guys, you heard that. If you would like more information, you can head to BackstageRialto.com. They have a whiskey tasting event coming up on March 10th. You can get tickets for that as well on that website. Jim, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for listening to What Matters in NOCO. I'm Ashley Milas with Town Square Media's Tuned Into NOCO. If you miss part of the show, you can find it on your Town Square Media station app or website. If you or your organization would like to be considered for Tuned Into NOCO, send me an email at ashley.milas at townsquaremedia.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-E dot M-E-E-H-L-E-I-S at townsquaremedia.com.